Welcome back to the Cozy Rosie Crochet channel. I am super excited to wish you a very happy new year and a big welcome to 2024. I'm really excited to be sharing with you a brand new free crochet along that all starts today. I know that you'll absolutely love because it involves lots of textured stitches and because it makes a completely unique project to you. In case we haven't met, my name is Fiona and I am the designer behind Cozy Rosie Crochet or Cozy Rosie UK. I have been designing for a number of years and I have been absolutely loving hosting lots of different crochet alongs over the last couple of years. Most recently, we've just had the Jolly Holiday Blanket Crochet Along, and earlier in the year and last year, oh no, the year before last, we had the Hodgepodge Blanket Crochet Along, and of course the Rose Cardigan Crochet Along too. I love how Crochet Alongs give you the opportunity to learn new crochet techniques, try out some different stitches, and have a good bit of crochet time as you move along through that project. Today I am of course super excited because I do get to share something that is brand new and has pretty much been under wraps for quite some time. Well actually there isn't just one pattern, there are four variations of a theme that you're going to be able to make with this brand new crochet along and the way that it's created means that you get to make your very own unique project that is exclusively you. You are the one who's going to determine what your finished project looks like. If you're familiar with the ever popular trend of doing a temperature blanket using the temperature from a particular year or doing the year as you move along, In the Mood is a variation on the temperature blanket theme in that your moods determine which stitches you use to create each portion of the pattern. I will happily admit that I haven't ever got round to making a temperature blanket. Um, a lot of the examples that I've seen tend to be made with just one stitch for the whole of the blanket. And when you think there are potentially 365 rows to go, it does mean that it can get a little bit repetitive. I prefer things and patterns that are a little bit more varied, have different elements to them that, of course, we can make our own. Now, the concept of In The Mood came about from a discussion between myself and my very good friend and fellow crochet designer Bernadine of Me and My Hook. We've each designed two of the pattern variations so that you've got lots of choice to make when it comes to choosing what pattern you are going to make for In The Mood. Now I don't know about you but crochet is very much my happy place. It's my, my time out, my opportunity to relax and clear my mind or get lost in a complicated pattern or design. Actually, is crochet that for you? Is it something you use to relax with? Is it something that you just love to lose yourself in spending time with your yarn, <laughs> rearranging in my case? I'd just like to know if crochet is your happy place too, really. In the Mood is really designed to make the most of our crochet skills and combine them with the benefits of tracking our mood. You may be aware that crochet has actually been scientifically proven to be good for our mental health. I have cited where I found that in, my in the description box below. So if you want to read the report on those findings, you can do. And many of those reasons are the ones I listed above about crochet being my happy place. There are also some really good benefits to tracking your mood. The first one that comes to mind is that it creates space for you to actually feel your feelings. In this fast paced world that we live in, it's really important to stop, take stock and just, you know, be present. All of those wonderful airy fairy words that people tend to get a little bit uncomfortable with, myself included. And it's important that we take that time to be aware of how we're feeling and kind of leading into number two, tracking our mood can actually help us take better care of ourselves. By being aware of how we're actually feeling or potentially recognising what's making us feel like that, we can actually take the time to look after ourselves, take an opportunity to relax and step away from situations. That also means that we can recognise patterns and find out those triggers that are causing repeat moods, if that makes sense. For some of us, we may already be aware of certain hormones that will trigger certain mood traits and feelings and we can combat those in my case with chocolate or various other techniques. So tracking our mood will allow us to recognise more of those triggers and those emotional responses. What I find really interesting is that the fourth reason that I found cited was it allows us to improve our communication with others and that's something that 
I can definitely recognise that I need to work on in myself because communication is not the easiest thing in any of our relationships. And I don't just mean romantic relationships, I mean with our friends, our family, our co-workers. Once we've recognised those triggers, we can potentially recognise what it is that they might be doing that we're reacting to and it can allow us to find other coping strategies and prevent some of those negative reactions by either expressing ourselves in better ways or finding out that we know <laughs> I was going to say run away from work we can't do that but it does allow us to potentially find different ways to communicate that will get us the results we want from that communication without causing a negative trigger. The final and possibly the most important reason to track your mood is that when you've recognised those triggers and those mood patterns, it might be that you would want to access some additional support to help work through some of those triggers or perhaps find a different way to move through those emotions. There are just three simple steps to get involved in making your very own In The Mood project. The first step is, of course, to start tracking your mood. The project is based on the moods that you are feeling across a whole 52 weeks. It doesn't matter which 52 weeks, you can start it on the 1st of January if you want to. You can start it in the middle of March, September. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be a Monday if you know what I'm referring to. But it is really important that you go ahead and get your copy of the In The Mood Tracker. The In The Mood Tracker is a completely free download that you can access, download and print. You can then use the Weekly Mood Assessor to determine what you felt your overall mood was for the week. In the top right hand corner and down in the description box below, you'll find a link to sign up to my newsletter where I will send you a link to download your In The Mood Tracker so you can get started and move on to step two. So step two is possibly the really exciting part. That is, of course, where you get to choose which pattern you're going to make. I've already mentioned that there are four variations for you to choose from and they're being designed by myself and another designer. Bernadine of Me and My Hook has designed both a rectangle shawl and a triangle shawl that increases from one end out to the other. Or you can choose to make a blanket in rows if you want to, or make individual squares to create a granny square blanket. Now, all the yarn amounts that we're going to quote for you, both in the written patterns and even in these videos, are yarn estimations. And that's all to do with step three, get stitching. Each of the pattern variations, both the rectangle, the triangle shawl and the two blanket variations are both going to be available to view for free on the designer websites. So you'll find both the blanket variations on the Cozy Roses UK website to view and you'll find the shawl patterns available to view on Bernadine's website, which is meandmyhook.com. They are all going to be released and available to view on the 16th of January. If you do prefer to print your crochet patterns or you want to have access to all of the extras that are surrounding this event, you can of course upgrade to the paid pattern bundle and in there you'll get not only your mood tracker but you'll be able to print and download each of the four pattern variations. I've popped a link both in the top right hand corner here and in the description box below for you to find out more about purchasing your own copy of In The Mood. Let's go into the getting stitching section a little bit more because this is where it's a little bit more unique than your standard temperature blanket. Each of the moods that we feel have been broken down into seven mood headers or kind of mood groupings and each of those groupings of moods and emotions has a stitch assigned to it. As an example, let's pick the emotion of feeling sad. So under those feelings of being sad, you could also include things like feeling gloomy, disappointed, hurt, lonely. There are so many descriptive words for emotions that we've kind of grouped them all together. And those groupings are available to view in both on our websites and in the mood tracker to help you determine how you're feeling. Each of those mood groupings has a stitch assigned to it. So once you have tracked your mood for seven days, you have then assessed what your overall mood is for the week. You would then pick that emotion or that mood and the pattern section you, or granny square you'd be making will feature that chosen stitch. So there are seven special stitches that are being used throughout in the mood, including puff stitches, popcorns, two double crochet clusters, paired half doubles, extended half double crochets. Oh no, yes, that's right. Um, what else? There's one more, there's one more. 
bobbles. We can't miss the bobbles. And of course, some post stitches because we love texture. I really hope you're understanding how this is going to be such a personal project to you. Your moods are going to determine what stitches you make at which point in the pattern. So it might be that you have seven happy weeks in a row. There are other descriptions for happy, so you probably won't have that happen. But perhaps you feel sad one week or angry the next, happy the next week. So each week you'll be working on a different stitch pattern or a different granny square to represent that week that you made. I do appreciate, however, that you may not have time to stitch every single week. So in your weekly mood assessment, there's a special box that you can tick once you've stitched up that section of the pattern so you know where you are at any point in the year. Don't forget that mood tracker is available as a free download. I don't want you to feel like you can't get your hands on it. It is free to download. Just head to the link in the description box. You can download your mood tracker and get tracking your moods from today so that we can get stitching as soon as possible once you have your first seven days of emotions and moods assessed. So I've already mentioned where you're going to be able to get hold of the patterns and of course all the stitches are going to have their own video tutorial and each of the granny square variations will have their very own video tutorial too. If you upgrade to purchase the patterns or you're viewing them on the website, they will be ready and waiting for you on the 16th of January 2024. So if you're watching it after that date, they're already there. Go and have a look. But if you're just starting and we're right at the new year, you've got a good few days of tracking ahead of you so that you can get potentially two done by the time the patterns release. I hope you can understand why I'm so excited to be sharing this project with you. I've had quite a rough 2023 and I'm really excited to focus in on tracking my mood and I hope that you are too. Knowing that tracking our mood has so many wonderful benefits from allowing us to recognise that it's time to take some self-care or perhaps we might need to access some different support. I'm really excited that we can combine that with our love of crochet to spend more time in our happy place in my case when it comes to crocheting and it means that we get to do it together. Not only that, we're going to be able to crochet a very unique project and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Now you're the first people to see all of the seven square designs that I have made and I'm very happy to showcase them. These are each of the seven different squares all featuring one of those special stitches that you'll get to make depending on what your overall mood is for the week one of these squares is what you're going to be stitching up if you choose to make the granny square option. So one final reminder to go and download your mood tracker. I popped it in the top right hand corner once again because I want you to get tracking your moods as soon as possible so that there is no delay for you starting your very own in the mood crochet project. In my next video I'm going to be talking live with Bernadine from Me and My Hook where we're going to be discussing colour options and how you might turn this into a temperature project if you wanted to as well. But also we're going to be diving into why this is such an important project for us and what we both hope to get out of it. I can't wait to find out what project you're going to be picking to make. Let me know in the comments if you've already decided. If not, it's not long until those patterns release. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in the next video.